For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem that they want you to determine the moment that each of the forces creates about point B. So the first thing you want to do is calculate the X and Y components of the forces. This is the Y component and this is the X component of F1. So F1X is equal to 250 sine of 30, which is exactly 125 newtons. And the Y is 250 cosine of 30, which is exactly 216.5 newtons. Then F2 has a Y component and an X component, but the Y doesn't really matter because it aims straight at the point that we're trying to calculate the moment of. Therefore, it creates no moment. So F2 in the X is the only one we care about, and it has a magnitude of 300 newtons times the cosine of 60 which means that this is equal to 150 newtons. And the third force is being applied directly at the point we're trying to calculate the moment from, therefore it doesn't really matter. So the moment that the first force creates about point B, which is this one right here, assuming counterclockwise is positive, is equal to the Y component going straight down, which is turning this lever arm right here with a length of 3 meters. Therefore, it's 216 newtons times 3 meters, and it's turning the lever arm to go counterclockwise, which means that it's positive. And then you got this uh, X component turning this lever arm with a length of 4 meters which is 125 newton force turning the 4 meter lever arm in a clockwise manner which means that it's negative therefore this comes out to be 149.5 newton meters and since it's positive it's going counterclockwise the second force the second moment the second force is the X component of F2, which is 150 newtons, and it's turning the lever arm of length of 4 meters, and it's turning it counterclockwise, which means that it's positive. The length is 4 meters. So this comes out to be 600 newton meters, and since it's positive, it's going counterclockwise. And the third force is creating a moment of zero because it's being applied directly at the point. So final answer for the moment created by the first force, final answer for the moment created at the sec by the second force, and final answer for the moment created by the third force. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.